The day three at Aero India 2019 witnessed the fabulous show of startups. Experts say startups and small firms can play a key role in helping the country with indigenization in the aerospace and defense sector. India is the second largest startup capital in the world. Year on year, there is a 12% growth. 20,000 startups live, of which 4,750 are technology led ones. Summing it up, three to four startups are born each day. Startups are making a very big difference to the aerospace industry, said the Defense Minister on the day of Aero India inauguration. The challenges are many for the young and talented who are venturing into the industry. We have started with uh, technology, aerospace technology, jet engines. So three years back we developed, manufactured in Bangalore and tested the jet engines. For the last three years we have been testing and uh, we have launched now uh, the platforms for these engines. So into the unmanned aerial vehicles, various kinds of unmanned aerial vehicles we are developing. It is on the development. We have manufactured many of the prototypes which are on display here. Uh, basically jet engines we are converted into a soft power engine and uh, uh, it can give a 30 kilowatts power. Based on these engines, uh, which is again under testing, we have uh, two of the uh, application drones we have develop, developing. One is a firefighting urban hopper, a drone which can carry 200 liters of uh, water and it can fly autonomously and it can uh, congested areas firefighting it can do and high rise building it can restrain the fire spread quickly. Four of them can go and you know, all around the building it can restrain the fire. So that's one of the applications we are hardly working on. And another application is like one of these drone which you are seeing here. It's a heavy lift drone. I again uses the same engine what we have developed and it can um, carry 75, 25 to 75 kg of payload and the distance varying on the, depending upon the payload capacity. This also used as, uh, can be used as a cargo and uh, uh, for the, it has a lot of strategic defense applications. Uh, the unmanned aerial vehicles applications market is huge uh, worldwide and India also. So we are hoping to cater for the Indian market and the world market both the market so as a first startup company from Bangalore based so based, the power plants are very part of the engine and we will be also uh, some of the drone uh, technology also we are um, uh, developing so we are working with a Spanish company for firefighting drone and we uh, our projects are um, approved to uh, government also part funding in firefighting uh, projects and uh, uh, we are working with IIC professors and this is a first startup company uh, where we are uh, developing the product rather than importing the high-end technology from other countries. So the self-realization from a private sector, our initiative we have taken and uh, it's out and out in-house. Uh, we are using our own resources and uh, we have launched um, uh, such a venture um, and hopefully we will uh, make uh, a successful uh, products for exporting throughout the world. Though the startups are fresh and new to the industry, many of the youngsters are able to make a headway with the OEMs. Hi, I am Anupam Chandra, CEO and co-founder of Terror Mobility. Terror Mobility is a Chennai-based startup developing unmanned ground vehicles for cargo handling operations of tactical transport aircraft. So our application is in disaster relief scenarios and uh, air defense uh, transport to remote air bases where they do not have infrastructure and cargo handling capabilities like forklifts and key loaders at austere locations. So our vehicle gets transported over these aircrafts like the C-130, C-295, C-17 as well as the Chinook and gets transported over these locations and then uh, helps the crew in unloading or loading the aircraft. This helps the crew save downtime of up to three to four hours down to one and a half hours. And this reduces their downtime as well as the infrastructure requirement dependencies that they have at these locations. The idea for this startup came to us in 2015 when we interacted with the Indian Air Force crew at the Hindon Air Base 
and they told us about the situation at the Nepal earthquake where they had to go, where they went with uh, disaster aid to Nepal and had to wait there for up to four hours for uh, manpower and infrastructure to come and help them with the unloading. After that, we have been working with Lockheed Martin, who have funded this development of a product called Cargo Ground Build-Up System, short for shortened as CGBS. And they have funded the whole development first as an IIT Madras project and now as a spin-off startup from there. Uh, we are a five-year-old company into uh, mimicking human touch actions for testing HMA applications. We are building uh, robotic platforms which can mimic human touch actions. Uh, we are concentrating into automotive field as of now, and we are concentrating into. Uh, we will be gaining into uh, automotive and aviation aspects as well. The startups are spread over varied fields from supply of UAVs to underwater vehicles for both aerospace and defense purposes. We are making uh, autonomous underwater uh, vehicles and we are making customized solutions for uh, people uh, who want uh, solutions and applications in underwater industry. What we, uh, what we expertise in the, is the, the naval part uh, of the defense. So when it comes to Navy, uh, we want to produce solutions uh, which cater to the needs of uh, today, uh, today's uh, era. So we are making uh, our uh, prototypes and our subsystems pertaining to communication and navigation. And we are also making modular vehicles which can uh, dismantle a uh, few of the parts inside water uh, and uh, it becomes modular so that we can communicate at later depths. So this is one of the things. Then we are also focusing on the controllability aspects of the vehicle. So how it uh, controls autonomously and how we can switch the operation to remotely operated vehicle. Then we can. Uh, we are also working on endurance part of the vehicle. That uh, how much time uh, uh, it can spend inside water, how much time it can perform operations, what will be the degrees of freedom. So how at all, uh, how and all the whole operation will be controlled. The control systems and everything is involved in that. So we are trying to make a dedicated vehicle which meets the sub uh, Indian subcontinent naval requirements. There is ample scope for new companies to fill several gaps around finances, big data, weaponry, technology and many more. Our product is Ajna Lens which we are showcasing in Air India Expo and uh, what our product is, our product is augmented reality and virtual reality hybrid AI powered AR headset. Uh, the first AR headsets which is completely work indoor and outdoor for military purposes. So as this headset is military grade, so you can use it inside, you can use it outside also as it is all weather systems. It's a just a wearable computer which can be used in multiple domains in defense and military. And the companies who are into defense, they are showing lots of interest uh, even in uh, Navy, even in airspace, uh, even in DRDO and the private companies who is working for defense they are also showing interest it's a huge response we are getting it in this market innovative entrepreneur always finds a way for a better business opportunity Day 3 of Aero India 2019 and we are at Yalahanka Air Force Base. So many things happening here. The energy is tremendous. Lot of exhibitors from world over who've come here to do product launches, to set up collaborations, work with India, create opportunity in the aerospace and aviation industry. With me today is a delegation from Czech Republic from the company PBS. Marek Fiala is with me. So can you tell us about the company PBS? What do you do? What do you manufacture? So company PBS is located in Czech Republic, which is in the middle of Europe. It's a, we are part of European Union and our company is producing different uh, products, but we are specialized on aerospace. 
From 70s, we are producing turbine products like uh, auxiliary power units, which is basically started of the main engine of the helicopter or different aircraft. We also do uh, environmental control systems, which is basically air conditioning of the aircraft. And uh, in the last 15 years, we are producing turbine uh, turbojet, turboprop, and turboshaft engines. You can see it basically here on this picture. So the first one is APU, which is started of helicopter. For example, this is a Russian helicopter MI-17, which is also flying here in India. So 150 of these APUs are flying also here in India at the moment. This is the air conditioning system, which is also located on the helicopter. And this is the range of the turbojet engines, which we are entering to the India market right now. You had a product launch here at Aero India 2019. Which product did you launch? Do you want to give a quick bite about it? Yes. So uh, we are launching this newest technology, turbojet engine PBS TJ150, which is our strongest engine at the moment. It's uh, designed mainly for different kind of UAVs, as you can see on the picture here. And we are launching it here on uh, Aero India because we would like to uh, get in touch or help uh, or to cooperate with companies here in India producing different kind of UAVs. So being a Czech company, how is the collaboration between the government? Well, actually, we feel very good support from Czech government and also from Indian government. Actually, our president was here two months ago and Indian president visited Czech Republic like six months ago. And we can feel strong support from both governments. Uh, we have a, a Czech, uh, Czech company, Czech Trade, which is very supportive uh, here in India. And also we have a big support or huge support from our embassy who helped us uh, launching our products here in India, help us with the Aero India presentation, and etc. So the both uh, supports are very, very, very working very well. That's brilliant. You were talking about Invest India, which is which you are a part of, yeah. and also Make in India. How is the program working, and what are your contributions towards that? Indian market is booming right now, and especially UAV uh, segment of the market. So we would like to be part of it and we have a lot of experience in this field and we are almost ready to uh, make some parts and assembly for our products here in, in Bengaluru. The kind of exhibitors we have, exclusive exhibitors is Really, really nice. With me now is Parikshit Chipalgati from Vigna Labs, and they are into security systems and surveillance. Another very important aspect when it comes to defense and defense production. So, Parikshit, could you tell us more about your product? Hello, everyone. Thank you, Vigna. Uh, Vigna Labs is part of the Manipal Group, started in 2018. Uh, we have about six to seven AI based uh, solutions. Uh, so, uh, security and surveillance is one of them. Uh, we use the uh, pre-installed CCTV cameras and then uh, track uh, employee entry and exit. Uh, we have intruder detection uh, during day and night. So typically this solution is effective in defense establishments, government institutes, um, as well as schools and colleges. And we are also looking at banks. Uh, and that's the reason, one of the reasons why we are at AeroShow here, uh, wherein we want to collaborate with uh, Coast Guards uh, military, army and air force stations and look at their security requirements and see how our product fits into their problem, solves their problem. Brilliant. I mean, when you say security system through AI, what are the special features of your product? Because CCTV is something which is installed for security already. And how is it, how is your product adding more value to it? Our product basically fits into the existing CCTV network. Uh, it detects humans. It uh, differentiates between humans and animals. Uh, so there are no false alarms. So imagine uh, if there are heavy rainfalls uh, and low lighting conditions, the security guard has to go around the perimeter to check what's happening at the wall. But using our system, we can raise alerts real time. So the security guard sitting in the control room exactly knows what's happening where. Brilliant. How's the experience been so far at Aero India? How's the response and what do you look forward to from here? Uh, we had a tremendous uh, response in the first two days and today morning has been busier than the last two days. Uh, we actually didn't expect a lot of footfalls to our uh, stalls given the kind of solutions that we have. And we are just into the market. This is for our first year. We have started business development. But uh, I'm glad we are here and uh, you know, making our presence felt. 
Thank you so much. It was really everyone. nice talking to you. Thank you, everyone. sitting at the Scient Limited booth and they have made the India proud, they have made all of us proud with the recent Bluebird collaboration. With me is the Vice President and Business Head, Mr. Sanjay Sharma, so please tell us more about this. Absolutely, it's been a very, very exciting journey. Scient uh, Limited has been an engineering company for uh, two and a half decades and Bluebird has been a US provider company for more than two and a half decades now. So we have come together, Scient and Bluebird have come together. We have formed a JV, what we call as Scient uh, Solutions and Systems. So, the, so from Scient angle, we bring in the engineering capability and the manufacturing capability. From Bluebird side, we side we bring in the, the the technical expertise in UAS systems, and that's what we plan to sell to India. Brilliant. So, at Aero India, how's the response been, and what are you looking forward to here, sir? It, it's been fantastic, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. In fact, the birds have, have been a, have been a star attraction as well. And, and the fact that you know we are developing systems which are tactical, which don't need a lot of manpower, don't need that, that kind of a support or infrastructure to operate, that is a, that's a key element. You know, as, as, uh, the, as, the, as the Chief of Army Staff also had said some time back, that he would want to have systems with him which are tactical, which can be easily deployed, which are very comfortable to use, which give information well ahead of time. That's exactly what we do. So we've got systems which can be dismantled, they can be carried on your backs, and you can go ahead with them, you can use them wherever you want in different environment conditions. It can give you a depiction of a, of a scenario which is as much as 80 to 150 kilometers ahead of you. So the troops are forewarned and forearmed before they enter into the engagement zone. There are so many stories to cover here at Aero India. It is something each Indian should be feeling proud of. The patriotism kicks in because seeing what we are doing, our potential is brilliant. It is definitely a runway to billion opportunities. Mr. Gaurav Kataria, Vice President A&D Digital at Scient Limited. Scient is an Indian multinational which is leading in the space of engineering, solutions and services. So what do you have to say about the collaboration of aerospace in digital and technology, growing technology? A lot of technologies like artificial intelligence, uh, augmented reality, virtual reality or additive manufacturing are being uh, rampantly adopted within the aerospace and defense market. From a science perspective, our focus is not really on technology, but is to really identify problem areas within the aerospace and defense domain, be it for MROs, be it for OEMs in manufacturing, be it within design, or be it within operations of the planes. At Aero India, how's the collaboration been? How's the opportunity? And uh, what is the system? What is the company looking forward to? So at Aero India, we've seen, uh, you know, had multiple very, very interesting meetings. Uh, with OEMs and with other partners and uh, you know the good thing is that everybody is understood that digital is the right way to move forward. There can be a lot of efficiencies that can be brought in in the system. Uh, there can be a lot of new revenue opportunities that can be created when they adopt digital. So they are very interesting conversations. In terms of employment generation and economy, how is it going to boost because with all the Make in India and a lot of other initiatives kicking in, so there's a lot of cutting edge work that we are doing and with the blend of technology coming in, uh, you know, not only the mechanical engineers, which used to be a big focus area, even the computer science or the electronics or the electrical, all these streams are more than welcome within the organization. With me is Mr. Itai Toren, Vice President Marketing and Business Development for Bluebird Limited, the company from Israel which has signed a partnership with an Indian company, Scient Limited. There are so many wonderful things they've been doing together in collaboration. It is a joint venture together and Mr. Itai will now tell me about it. We've been looking for a long time for a partner in India and uh, when we found Scient, it was an instant collaboration. We bring our expertise in the UV field. They bring their expertise here in India in manufacturing, engineering, and so on, in order to bring all these solutions into the Indian market for the benefit of the Indian forces. So how do you see the collaboration between the two countries, you know, materializing and bringing fruits? 
The collaboration between Israel and India is uh, on the fast track, actually. There's a lot of connections, a lot of collaborations between the Israeli industry and Indian industry and between our governments. So how does it feel to be a part of Aero India 2019? I'm really curious, we will now see the demo of Micro B and how it works. This is the Micro B, a unique micro UEV that is hand launched from a launcher like this. You shoot it just like a gun. It's very light, it has a long endurance, long range and extremely good visual cameras. When you launch it, it goes like that and flies. Very light, very simple. So that's the Micro B UAV launched by both the companies together in collaboration. The word aerobatics refers to aircraft maneuvers done in an unusual attitude or the position of the aircraft.